How's it going guys? I'm your host Karban Gaming. Welcome back to a very special Dragon Faber video. And for today's video, as you guys can tell from the title already, we are going to be talking about trinkets. So trinkets are a type of accessory inside of Dragon Faber that you can equip onto your character that gives you extra stats and sometimes extra skill as well. Not all trinkets come with a skill, but most trinkets nowadays do come with some sort of skill. Okay, keep in mind that the trinket skill is locked to DA only. So even if you have a non-DA trinket equipped you will not be able to access the skill unless you have a dragon amulet also this video may or may not be outdated at the time at which you may be watching it so please do go ahead and look at the date of the video as the game does get weekly releases this being said i'm going to be going through with you guys the trinkets that i feel are worth picking up either for its skills or its stats now without further ado let us jump right into the video Alright, so the first trinket that I want to talk about is the Uentas Blaster 1 Amalgam Trinket. This is the best in slot trinket for non-DA players. So if you are a DA player, you can skip through this entirely because there will be way better trinkets later on inside of the video. So for non-DA players, this is what you want to get. And in order to get this, you will need to have completed the Malera storyline. This trinket has three upgrade levels, this being the current final level. Okay, so inside of Book 3 Falcon Reach, you want to go all the way here up to Uenta, click on Malera's. Okay, the first version of the trinket you can get from here, Sinosons. Okay, you will need to complete all of the storyline before that in order to access it. Click on this button, Sinosons. It will take you to the Sinosons boss fight. You will need to beat him before you are able to unlock the first version of the trinket, which is the Uentas, uh Blaster Uncharged. Okay, you will get either a version 1, 2, 3, or 4. Okay, 1 is the only one that does not require a Dragon Amulet. 2, 3, and 4 will require Dragon Amulets. So you will need to keep uh, trying the boss fight over and over again until you get Uentas Blaster 1 Uncharged. Okay, in order to upgrade that, you go here, Mr. Nameless. The second one, and you can click on Frostville Gifts over here. Again, I do think you need to complete the story before you can access this. And down here, Lay Shayek Capacitor Gem. You want to buy this for zero gold. Afterwards, you can merge it here. Click on Uentas Blaster, the button right beside it. And you can merge it into the Uentas Blaster 1 charging. Okay, using the first Uentas Blaster as well as the Lay Shayek Capacitor Gem will give you the second version or the second upgrade of the Uentas Blaster Trinket. This one gives a little bit more stats and a little bit more resist, I believe. Now for the final version, once again you head back to the same place which is Uenta Maleras and you'll click on the latest Maleras right here which is Mialos. Click on reactivation to the wall and then you want to uh, click on Amalgam Core over here. This one does cost 20,000 gold but 20,000 gold is not that hard to farm for nowadays. Okay, so you want to buy that and then you want to merge it into the Uentas Blaster 1 Amalgam Trinket. This does come with a skill but of course non-DA players you will be unable to use the skill so you're mostly using this trinket for its stats as well as its resistors. Okay, not super fantastic but 5 light and dark resist is very good for non-DA players who have trouble stacking up super high resistors and this will be great for in fights like the life and death challenge or uh, any monster that hits hard with light and darkness like the latest unending empires challenge this trinket will shine as well the next trinket that you want to consider getting is the Uentas Blaster 4 Amalgam Trinket. Okay, so this is exactly the same place to get and to upgrade the uh, Uentas Blaster 1 Amalgam Trinket. But uh, versions 2, 3 and 4 are for DA holders only. Okay, so do keep that in mind. Of course, if you're an endgame player, you should be farming for version number 4 because that is the level 90 version. It comes with a lot more stats and the reason why you want to get this trinket is because it is the current best in slot trinket for light and dark resist even beating out the current overall best in slot uh, trinket in terms of light and darkness resist it on top of that it also gives fantastic stats as well as five good and evil resist so this is great for fights that uh, have monsters that hit very hard with light and darkness some examples uh, would be the uh, Sinosons fight the Unending Empires in Challenge, Life and Death, all of these have monsters that hit pretty hard with Light and Dark. So that is a place whereby you might want to consider using this trinket over the other trinkets. On top of that, it also comes with a skill. All versions of this trinket does come with a skill, but of course only DA holders will be able to use the skill. So this skill has a 20 turn cooldown and does 5 hits of fear damage. Uh, it doesn't do super a lot of damage, but the reason why you want to use this is because it gives your monster plus 30 health resist for 5 turns as you guys can see. Uh, Amalgam Scar. Okay, 
the extra health resist is given to the monster on the turn whereby you use this trinket so overall it will last for 5 turns extra 30 health resist and this is great for healing monsters like your Drahatia which heals a lot and you want to cut down their healing Next up, we have the Vel's Ego Trinket. So the Vel's Ego Trinket is the current best installed offensive trinket inside of the entire game. Okay, as you guys can see from the stats. In order to get this trinket, you will have to beat some uh, of the in challenges first and you want to go to the in at the age of time and the challenges that you will need to beat are from the unfortunate souls challenges board. So you'll need to uh, beat both omnipotent hero Val and insane pyromaniac sand solo fights. Get the drop item from there. It is a 100% drop. Okay, for, uh, merge them both into Molten Source Metal over here and then afterwards go ahead and do the duo fight. So the duo fight I would say is not super difficult, even a NDA player will be able to do the solo fight. You guys can, uh, the duo fight sorry, you guys can go ahead and check out my uh, videos on that if you're having trouble with the fight. And then uh, you will be able to get the fragments of Ego drop from the duo fight. Merge it with the Molten Source Metal from before in order to get your Vel's Ego Trinket. The Vel's Ego Trinket also comes with a skill, a very powerful skill which I will showcase to you guys right now. Let's head over to Dr. Votabo in order to showcase the skill on this trinket. So this inflicts a 99 turn dot on your foe and the damage of the dot is dependent on your weapon damage so in order to maximize the damage you'll probably want to use a super damaging weapon like Yuragiri but of course keep in mind if you do uh, go ahead and do this be sure that uh, you have enough HP to survive the monster's next attack okay and this Vel's Ego Trinket's uh, damage is not affected by your dexterity stat otherwise it will just be overpowered so you can see a 49 Ego Burn and it lasts for 99 turns, 38 to 42 damage. This is probably the highest uh, or best damage you can get out of this trinket per turn because I am using the current uh, strongest weapon, uh, strongest offensive weapon inside the entire game, which is Yura Giri. Next up, we have the Corrupted 7 Trinket. So this is the best in slot trinket for free-to-play players. And by free-to-play players, I mean players who have a DA but do not wish to spend additional money buying the Elemental Unity Dragon Coin Package or who do not wish to spend hours farming for Defenders Medals in order to upgrade the Elemental Unity uh, Trinket. Okay, so this one gives you a whopping 4 all resist. On top of that, it also gives you a bunch of other stats. In order to get this trinket, you have to beat some of the challenges at, over at the end at the age of time. You can access them over here. You'll need to have beaten all of the single elemental spirits from the Corrupted 7 bot. Again, you guys can go ahead and check out my in playlist for a video guide on how to beat all of these uh, spirits. And then you want to click on the chest in the middle. And from any of these challenges over here, you have to beat them once in order to unlock the reward shop. Afterwards, you have to beat them a few more times in order to get the materials needed to merge into the Corrupted 7 Trinket. You'll need to beat any of the three challenges five times. Okay, you can mix and match depending on what challenge you would prefer to do. Okay, on top of that, each of the challenge has a 10% chance to drop the trinket straight away. So you may be able to get the trinket uh, before even doing the challenges five times if you are lucky enough. Okay, Pandora is just a one uh, fight with the regular Pandora. Pandora's gauntlet means you have to fight through all seven of the elemental spirits uh, with optional heals in between and then a weakened version of Pandora. And last but not least, Pandora Extreme. This is an extreme version of the Pandora fight. In my opinion, the fastest way to farm for this trinket is to do the regular Pandora fight, okay? And the easiest way would be doing the Pandora's Gauntlet because you are fighting a weakened version of Pandora. And on top of that, all of the elemental spirits are pretty easy on their own. However, the Pandora's Gauntlet is the most tedious way because you'll need to, need to fight through 8 monsters in order to get the reward. The Pandora Extreme fight, I would definitely not recommend doing this if you just want to farm for the trinket because it is a pretty hard fight and on top of that, it will probably uh, take a lot of skill in order to beat the fight, especially if you're not a seasoned player. Now, let's go ahead and check out the skill on this trinket. Okay, let me head over to Dr. Votabo to check out the skill. So the skill does a total of 200% damage, but what is good about this skill is that it has a whopping 
34 hits that's right guys 34 hits so this is fantastic for fishing for uh on proc specials like if you want your ice scythe to proc or uh for me i my blade of all special uh sl slaughtered over here let's go ahead and see if it will actually proc with this most likely it will it doesn't do a great deal of damage because it hits with five different elements i think or I'm not sure how many elements, five or six different elements. So if your monster is resist to any of those elements, then there's a good chance that it will not do as much. But you can see I definitely uh, got the thing to proc, maybe even more than once. On top of that, it also adds an empowered uh, buff to yourself. This is inclusive of the turn which you use the trinket. So it gives you five boosts for four turns, and the skill has a 35 turn cooldown. Apart from that, not much to say about the skill. It's only really good for fishing for on proc specials. Other than that, the skill is not really super good damage wise or buffing wise defenders cannon mark 4 this trinket is the best in slot for metal resist giving you 7 metal resist and on top of that it has decent stats to boot also it comes with a highly damaging skill that does 20 hits of 20% damage for a grand total of 400% damage this skill is really good for fishing for on proc specials similar to the other two trinkets that I covered before in order to get this trinket go down one screen from any of the falcon reach books and go into this shop click on defender shop defenders rares now this trinket is going to take a super long time to farm for it. The first one causes a whopping 2000 defenders medals. In order to upgrade them all the way from Mark 1 all the way up to Mark 4, you'll need a grand total of 14,000 defenders medals. That's right guys, you heard me right. And it is the most expensive defenders item to upgrade so you probably want to do this over the course of a few wars okay get 14,000 defenders medals in order to upgrade this to the maximum level the skill remains the same at all levels but you do get a little bit more stats with the higher level versions now let's go ahead and check out the skills And you can see here, super highly damaging skill and really good for fishing for on proc specials. Okay, the skill does not give any buffs or debuffs and has a 30 turn cooldown. The Mirror Eye Trinket is the best in slot trinket for Wind, Stone and Fire Resist, giving you 10 of each. And in order to get this trinket, you have to do this quest from Titan by going to Shadow of the Wind Village, walking up to him and doing this quest called Illusion, okay? You have a chance of getting the trinket as well as another, uh, I believe it's a trash item. But uh, you can go ahead and toss that item away because you're only farming for the Mirror Eye Trinket. Now let's go ahead and showcase the skill from the Trinket by going to Dr. Volta Boat here. And the skill initially it comes locked, okay? The enemy will need to have landed a hit on you on the previous turn in order for the skill to unlock. So if you dodged or blocked an attack on the previous turn, then the skill will not be available for you to use. Okay, let's see if the enemy can land a hit on us. Okay, nice. So this one does no damage at all and it has a, twin, a 9 turn cooldown, okay? It gives you 15 power boost for 4 turns, okay, inclusive of the turn that you use the trinket. But obviously, you're not going to uh, have the 15 power boost on the turn that you use the trinket is going to have no effect at all because the trinket does no damage whatsoever. Now I'm going to cover these two trinkets at one shot, okay, because they come from the same location and they are the Ace of Hearts and Ace of Spades trinket. Now as you guys can see, their stats are not fantastic, but the Ace of Hearts is the best in slot trinket for Ice Resist, giving you 10 Ice Resist, and the Ace of Spades trinket is the best in slot trinket for Energy Resist, giving you 10 Energy Resist, okay. In order to get these trinkets, the fastest way would be to go to your Book of Law, uh, Book 3 Timeline, and go to Raven Laws over here. Okay, so your Raven Lost might look a little bit different depending on which part of the story you are in, but this is uh, where you go to the card shop if you are doing this method, which is the same method as I did. Okay, so let's go left. Keep going left until you see the card shop. There we are. Walk right into the card shop and go to cards. Okay, go to shop, sorry. Wait, no, cards. My bad. Okay, so this is where you can get the trinkets. They both cost uh, 2,000 gold each, which is not very difficult to farm for at all. And they do not come with a skill, so you're mostly just using them for their resist. The Chi Blast Trinket is a trinket that does not have any stats but it comes with a super powerful skill that can increase its damage by costing more mana. In order to get this trinket, you need to go to your uh, book 1 travel map over here 
and head on over to Aries Battle Spire. And then you'll want to challenge Akira. Okay, so I'm not going to do the Akira fight. I have a video up showing me beating Akira all the way up to uh, round 100, but you only need to beat him for 5 rounds, which is super easy and you can do with any class. After 5 rounds, you will be able to unlock a shop over here in which you can buy the trinket for dragon coins, okay? So it does cost dragon coins, but you can get 3 free dragon coins every single day. So it's not a super expensive trinket. Now I'm going to showcase the skill on the trinket over here. This is probably the most damaging skill of all of the trinkets if you have the right setup. In the past, it used to be super overpowered, but right now, uh, it has been toned down a lot. It's still a very, very strong skill, however. So I charged it to 72% of its power, consuming extra 180 MP, and you can see here that... Okay, I know it's not a lot of damage, but... If you go ahead and set up your boosters and all of that, it can do a massive amount of damage on the monster. Dragon's Bulwark and Dragon's Wrath Artifacts. These are two very specific and unique artifacts because they actually change the skills on the Dragon Lord class. So if you're using any class other than Dragon Lord, then you're probably better off using some of the other trinkets, but that's not to say that these two trinkets are weak. Okay, so you can see here uh, the stats are pretty good for both the for both of them and on top of that you also get really good light and darkness resist combined with all resist you get a grand total of 8 light and 8 darkness resist it's not as good as Uantas Blaster 4 or Amalgam but it is still a very close secondary competitor if for some reason you have not gotten um, to the point in the story whereby you unlock the Uantas Blaster trinket yet so in order to get Dragon's Bawa and Dragon's Wrath artifact first of all you need to go to your book of law over here click on shops here on the top uh, corner click on more and these are upgrade artifacts, so you need to upgrade the artifacts one time after getting the base version. This is the base version. Click on Dragon Lord Artifacts and you can get Dragon's Patience or Dragon's Rage, okay? So these cost 325,000 gold each. After the last update of July 2021, these uh, the gold cost on this will be reduced to 25,000 gold. Alternatively, you can also buy them for 750 Dragon Coins. Like the Gold version, the cost for this will be reduced after the last update of July 2021. So for those of you guys who have not gotten uh, these two artifacts yet, then you may want to wait until uh, the end of July before deciding to go ahead and get this, okay? Uh, for me personally, I would recommend getting the gold version instead of the dragon coin version. I don't think it's worth to spend dragon coins on this. And even though this is probably the most expensive single gold item inside of the entire game currently, 225,000 gold um, for a max level like me with all the best in slot offensive gear, I can farm roughly about 200,000 gold per hour. So 325,000 gold honestly isn't that hard. And of course, you don't have to farm it all in one shot. These artifacts will be here to stay permanent. Permanently. So you can slowly farm your goal and when you get enough then uh, do come in and purchase them. Okay, so the first level version they are already very good by themselves. Okay, so the Dragon's Patience artifact gives a stackable plus 5% total base damage to player at the beginning of each turn capping at 125% total base damage at 24 stacks. On the uh, the other one, Dragon's Rage, okay, this one changes the skills of your Dragon Lord class, making it a lot more uh, bursty. You give out some of your defenses, meaning some of your defensive skills will not be as good, but at the sec on the other hand, you will have a lot more burst damage in the form of your other damaging skills. Okay, in order to upgrade this artifact, you need to go to Book 3 Sword Haven. So, Book of... Uh, Magic, click on timeline. Okay, I believe this should be no, not timeline. Okay, I believe it's faster to go to travel map over here. Kingdom of Green Guard, click on Green Guard over here. Sword Haven, travel all the way to Sword Haven, and then you need to have completed the storyline quests all the way up to this point before you can unlock it. At least for now, I don't know if they'll make uh, dragon's graphs available on the travel map directly in the future. So, click on quests, click on the awakened deaths. Okay, this will take you to the new Dragon's Graphs. Okay, Book 3 Dragon's Graphs that was released just very, very recently. And wow, look at that amazing artwork. Okay, so enough of that. Once you are here, you want to go up. Okay, and then go 
up here again I honestly don't know what's the fastest way to get to this shop but this is the way that I used to do it okay and then walk right into here the one with the shop I with the sword icon okay walk up to any of these two and click on artifact upgrade and then you with your dragon's patience and or your dragon's rage artifact you will be able to merge them into this uh, new uh, upgrade called dragon's power and dragon's wrath so you'll only be able to upgrade the gold version into the gold version and the uh, dragon coin version into the dragon coin version you will not be able to upgrade the dragon coin version into the gold version and likewise you will not be able to upgrade the gold version into the dragon coin version for now they are free but after the july 2021 update they will cost 300,000 gold uh, for the gold version the dragon coin one i'm not too exactly sure but if you already have the dragon's patience and dragon's rage artifact then definitely go ahead and and upgrade them now or else you have to spend another 300,000 gold each uh, to upgrade these artifacts after the July 2021 update they give a little bit more stats and of course they do alter some of Dragon Lord's skills as well now I'll go ahead and show uh, them off a little bit I'm not going to go through exactly what uh, they do and exactly what they modify because there's just too many things to go through if you guys want to see that then uh, first of all I will highly recommend you to go ahead and try out for yourself alternatively you can also go ahead and check out the uh, uh, hour-long video that I did covering the entire Dragon's Graphs update as well as this uh, new Dragon Lord uh, Artifacts upgrade okay so this one the one I'm currently using is the Dragon's Bowak artifact okay so this one I believe gives me uh, extra 5% damage boost every turn is that the case hold on let me check okay now I get extra 10% damage very nice Right, so it'll just keep stacking on more and more damage every single turn and I think that's really cool. Also using the Dragon's Bawa and or Dragon's Wrath artifact, you will see this uh, neat new little bar on top here that you can play around to empower your abilities and that is very cool and very and make basically it gives your abilities even uh, more bang for their buck. You can play it just like how you regularly play Dragon Lord in the past but on top of that you get some neat little bonuses with uh with the these two new artifacts that you can use okay so I'm going to use energy dragon spirit and reduce the force or resist now let's go ahead and finish this guy off so plus 30 percent damage this is really good for long endurance fight so the longer the fight goes on for the more damage you will deal okay so for monsters with very high HP this is a fantastic artifact to use along with your Dragon Lord armor now let's go ahead and check out the other one that will be the dragon's wrath artifact this one basically makes your class more bursty so if you're facing off against a boss that you need to kill quickly uh, because they do a lot of damage or because they have some mechanic that requires you to kill them quickly then this will be the artifact for you or if for some reason the boss does not have a lot of health then you probably want to use this instead okay so let's go ahead and use a uh, dragon eye over here Nice, you can see a lot more damage. Okay, I can't exactly remember what each one of these skills uh, do, but I'll definitely go ahead uh, and check out my video or check it out for yourself if you have to go to purchase the upgrades. And last but not least, we have the Summon Gem Illumina X Trinket. Now, in order to get this trinket and upgrade it all the way, you first need to go to your Book 1 Travel Map, head on over to Moonridge over here, and... In order to access the shop to buy the first version of the Summon Gem Illumina, you need to go here, click on examine. Now you have to be careful on how you click here because if you walk away then you have to uh, start over. So try not to do too many crazy clicking. Okay, so the answer here is Illumina. Is this it? And then uh, just try and click a little bit slower. And you have to wait a little while. And wait for this thing to pop out if you run away then you have to do this thing all over again so be careful on where you click on the ground take summon gem and you open the shop here summon gem illumina shop so you can buy it for zero gold and that is the first step of getting the uh, summon gem illumina x afterwards you need to go over to the inn at the edge of time and once again you need to beat some in challenges in order to get it so click on the conduit you need to beat the illumina solo fight once and the duty and rebellion duo fight uh, with illumina and in tame once in order to get the x trinket so after beating the first uh, illumina solo fight you'll get the inert uh, you get the summon gem setting and once you beat the uh you can go ahead and merge it here 
the gem setting as well as the Illumina uh, gem in order to get the inert summon gem. And then once you beat the duty and rebellion duo, you'll get the summoner's conduit. And then you can merge both of them here in order to get this uh, final version of the Illumina X trinket. Now, what's good about this trinket is not really the stats, but more of the skill. And I'll go ahead and showcase the skill over here at Dr. Volta Boat. Okay, so this skill, you can see it doesn't do a lot of damage, 200% damage, same as your uh, Elemental Unity, Defender, and the Corrupted 7. It also comes with some very nice sound effects, which I really, really like. Okay, including voice acting from, I'm not sure who that is. Okay, but I can see uh, it gives you a buff, light over darkness, 25 darkness resist for 5 turns, inclusive of the turn that you use the trinket. So it's very good for monsters that hit very hard uh, with darkness. On top of that, it also inflicts a minus 80 bonus to the monster for 1 turn. So a super strong blind for 1 turn, perfect for uh, panicking for when the monster is about to nuke. It has a 30 turn cooldown. And that is it for the video guys, okay, all of the trinkets that I feel are worth getting as of 11 July 2021, which is the time of this recording. Did I miss out any trinkets that you feel are worth getting that I did not mention in the video? Do let me know down in the comments below. And if you find this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.